Yep. Come back out again. This time, come up with Juviets. Uh, after um, the last debacle, so we'll call it, which was the, the camp I did on Thursday, um, when that job got cancelled, they put it on for Monday because obviously the weather forecast better. They're doing outside slabs so they can't pour in the rain. So they'll have to wait till Monday where they've got the weather window. And um, so I'm doing it again. I'm back. I went out yesterday, Saturday. Um, didn't go well. I'll just, I'll just show you a little clip of what happened. I didn't get far. <laughs> About 500 yards. I've had to nip it in here because the heavens are just open. I don't want to get drenched because uh, I've got nothing to get changed into. Stop me here. Eh? Eerie. Nah. It's getting binned off this like I can't get anywhere. Been here for 20 minutes and it's just getting worse. Ah, oh, lad. Oh, this weather is just crap. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go home, have a few of these beers, and then I might get out again on Sunday. Who knows? I don't know. I don't, I'm past caring, like, to be fair. I'm, I'm really past caring. Let's see what happens. But I'm not going up there in this. It's just on, off, on, off, and it's dead heavy. It's getting absolutely drenched. No good at all. I haven't got me bloody rainproof. Oh, Jesus. Pretty grim, eh? But, look at this. What a difference a day makes. Can you believe it? Sunday night. I didn't drink all them beers, like. I think I only had three cans, so I was knackered. I fell asleep. Oh, look, there's cows. Great. Where's all those cows? There's a fence, though, so I'll be all right. I think I'm gonna go up on the top of that one there, or there's one behind it. I'm gonna have a look at that. But yeah, fancy not taking my raincoat. Got it with us tonight, and it's bloody. <laughs> The sun's splitting the trees and it's 45 degrees in the shade. Nonsense. Weather's mad. Anyway, I'm gonna fuck go. I'll keep this one short because I've gotta get back in the morning, so I don't wanna go too far. About a mile, mile and a half maybe. Here they are. Little one there, jumping around like a good one. Sounds right, good time. Yes, you know. You know, one wrong move, and I love you, and you, and you. They're not bothered. They couldn't care less. Thing is, if you panic, they'll panic, and they'll just jump around randomly, and good chance of, uh, well, they can injure you. But if you're calm, like I just walked straight to them. That one down there was on the path. I just, as soon as I got up there, it just moved off the path. They're just curious. They're just wondering what the hell is this coming up the path. And then when you get alongside, they're like, yeah, oh, it's just him. It's just that backward block. So, trick is with cows, not to panic. If they do get too close, make yourself big. Like, make yourself big and make a noise, you know, shout at them, jump about. Nine times out of ten, they'll run away. They're more scared of you than you are of them. Tumpo, are you listening? <laughs> but you know, just treat them cautiously still. Don't be, uh, don't be blase. Well, I've made it to the top. Sweating. Camp there with uh, Mr. Stalker and Peas. That was a windy camp. 
I think it's called Old Forden Hill. We went, we went over there and we trailed all the way down there, down into that valley, up the other side through all the heather, and then we found the path up at the top of there and it was blowing a gale. If I remember rightly, I was in that pretense, it took me quite a while. Alright, I've just got to look for somewhere to a flat bit here. I've pitched here before. The last time I was here, I filmed a bit of the aurora. Over there. A bit of green. Um, just had a ping on the phone there. There's activity. And so there might be more aurora tonight. Probably not. Like, the sun's going to die a death because there's a big bank of cloud of death. But yeah. I think I'll just stay here. There was more cows coming up the path, but yeah. I'll chase them away. They should fear me. They should fear me. And see the way I cook the steak. I have it medium rare. Sometimes rare. So it's nothing just to take a slice off them. Anyway, let's get the tent up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a beer because it's Sunday. Not many, and they're not very high strength either, so. Yeah, there's not a breath of wind up here. And, uh, just turn you around. There we go. All set up. It was forecast to be quite windy, but honestly, this is dead still. Unless it's going to pick up. But I've, I've pegged it out and guide it out just in case, going off the forecast. MWIS forecast as well, so it's not like that to be uh, inaccurate. That's my view though. Oh, well, actually, a lie. That's my view. So it's facing north. And that's the east coast. Oh, so north's up that way. So I'll put the camera out tonight and hopefully we'll see the northern lights dancing. <laughs> Don't hold your breath for that. So if there's no night lapse in it, it looks rubbish. I'm going to get uh, the rest of my stuff set up. I've got nice. Oh, I've got a nice stir fry for my tea. We'd be nice cooking it out here, it's nice and still. Oh, you don't get many nights like this, do you? I love it. I'll take this. Well, that wasn't too bad, that sunset. Better than I thought it was going to be. The wind is picking up now, see? That was right. That's just come out of nowhere, that wind now. Luckily, I did the old wet the old finger trick and I pitched it the right way. So the wind's blowing into the back of it. I've got it all guide out. Moon's out. Aurora spotting tonight and uh, the moon comes out. I don't know, I might get it. If it's there. Let's have a look what we're doing here then. A couple of beers. I know it's a school night, but I don't care. I used the flexi tail pump again on the mat. Went up in one minute and 23 seconds. <laughs> the pillow nearly exploded, so I had to stop it. I'm gonna get my tea on shortly. What I've got here, right, is probably this. Chinese style chicken stir fry kit. So it's all chicken and uh, peppers and all the rest of it. You just hoil it all in the pan. Oh, I've got my pan there. So I've got my little setup here. There's cow pats everywhere. Like you've got to, you've got to not be bothered about sheep shite and cow pats when you're camping. You really can't avoid it. So that's about it for now. I'm just going to sit and chill out. Right, we're just getting this on. It's a bit dark, a bit dark isn't it? Alright, just getting this started. So, we'll get the um, chicken nice and cooked through. And then we'll add the veg and the stir fry sauce. And that's about it, really. It's dead easy, dead simple. This. Nice though. 
in fact this will be four in the house just have the rice with it it'll be nice but couldn't be bothered to bring rice it's a last minute thing so the um the peppers are in our chicken's cooked nice peppers are in there's loads of herbs and spices all kinds of minerals in there there's lithium dioxide coca-cola trioxide and some uh, chicken monoxide so just let that all sort of sort of what do you do it's sweat it down saute the the peppers with that and then hoy the sauce in and that's the um that's the technical term hoy the sauce in that's why the chinese call it hoys in because that's what they do they hoy it in Fact that, like Chinese fact. Here's the uh, sauce going in. Look at that. Nice. Get it all out. Oh. Get it all out. Don't waste it. Kitchen roll handy. Handy, handy. Got everything, man. This kitchen's got everything. Oh, look at that! It smells lovely. Mmm, mmm, God. That is nice. It smells like um, a cross between chow mein, black bean, black bean sauce. Oh yes. This is going well. wait for it to uh, just warm up and heat through and that will be ready soon well that is ready that's the sauce in what was it again Chinese style chicken stir fry kit ready to cook 12 minutes you get them from Morrison's can it fault that like and if you're in the house or even if you've got the fancy get some rice in there Let's have a little bit. Let's have a try, yeah. Oh, cool. I started eating it and all this Chinese music started playing. Oh, that was nice, that man. I'm going to enjoy this. I'll let it cool down a bit first. Oh dear. Right, well, I had my tea, which was lovely. I'll have that again, like. Um, and now I'm just sitting chilling out. We I go to bed early tonight, like about half nine, maybe. Ten o'clock. I'm not really absolutely shattered, like. After after yesterday's wander and then I got soaked, I had to dry everything, I had to do my laundry and oh, ended up with loads to do and then I watched a, um, I think I watched a film until late, I don't know, a couple of beers and then I watched a film, that was my Saturday night, so tonight, like I say, camping, I've got that job tomorrow, uh, I hope that job goes on for quite a while, I think there's a few more, I think there's a few more visits up there like, so I might do some more overnights. There's a couple more hills here that I want to go on. But um, that's about it. Knee crack because there's knee tompo. It's just me. Boring old me. Misery. No, but misery. <laughs> so I'm going to put my camera out anyway because the stars are popping out. And uh, keep your fingers crossed that we see some green and red over there. Last time I was on this hill, I got green and red. I'll have to find out when that was. But yeah. So unless anything amazing happens, we'll, uh, we'll put the night lapse out. If, if it's not there, it was crap. And we'll see you in the morning. Just a little one. It's, uh, it's got really windy. It's blowing a gale. Look at that light. That's the flex tail pump. The light on is insanely bright. It's on the, that's on the top setting that like. So you turn it off, you have a long long pause, uh, long press and it comes on. 
that's low mid high yes Bob has died Bob's died a death the batteries not Bob the batteries so luckily I've got that as backup but this wind oh listen to it yeah it's really picked up from what it was before dead calm before there wasn't a sound there wasn't a breath so yeah good job I put the guy lanes out and Ellie didn't like I'll get out shortly and check them make sure they're all tightened up tight guy lanes and delta pegs oh I haven't got deltas in I don't think it's gonna get that wild the pegs have put in though I've banged them in with a rock so they're going nowhere stars are out so it's almost time to put the camera out do a bit of video I'll have the I'll just leave it here beside the tent so it's not getting blown around there so it's not gonna fall over so it should be all right for a, a night lapse let's see what comes out could be good could be crap who knows me patch there's the mist rolling in cows are cows are approaching I can have the hill back now on my way just watch that lovely sun coming up I'm absolutely devastated and I'll tell you why last night I put the camera out I had a Aurora warning the phone phone pinged Aurora magnetic activity I'm like alright put it out well uh, you'll see from the night lapse what I did wrong I'm crushed because I put the camera pointing too high up so I might have good footage of the Milky Way but you can just see in the corner of the screen the sky glowing bright green bit of red oh it's an absolute I'm, I'm crushed I'm devastated <laughs> this most spectacular spot uh, show and it's it's just in the corner of the screen you can barely see it oh what a rookie error so I had the camera pointing too high up oh man that would have made amazing video because it was so bright the big flash of bright green bugger man what an idiot idiot Anyway, I'm heading down now because um, hey, the weather's changing. It's turning, it's turning into a rotten day. It was lovely and clear when I got up. Like I say, that nice sunrise and everything. Oh well. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Give it a, give it a share. <laughs> but why do people say it? Why do people say all this? If you watch it, you watch it. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I watch loads of videos and I don't I don't comment on all of them. I give them a thumbs up like, but I don't I don't feel the need to comment. It's like you see you see them comment every time. I mean I appreciate them. But you know it's up to you. Oh. I should edit that bit out really, shouldn't I? Am I going the right way? Yeah, yes, there's the, that's the marker post. So I'm heading down there into that valley, back to the car, or the van, and then I'm going to go to the most poshest toilets I've ever known in my life in the uh, country park. 
at Bulby's Wood. If you know them, if you know them toilets, honestly, they're better than the toilets in the house. Somebody must do a good lot of looking after them. Last time I went, I was like, oh, guilty because I left the mucky floor. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go and get a wash and then get changed and go to work. Boo! Work. That's the whole point of coming up here, is to sort of get on that job shop and then get away. Right. We'll see you for the next one, whenever, wherever. Is, uh, was it Cleopatra? No. Shakira. Where did I get Cleopatra from?